Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. One of my subscribers asked me a question about prime numbers, so I thought I'd make a video on what prime numbers are and go from there. So uh, basically, if I write out some numbers from 0 onwards, you can see pretty soon that some numbers can be made up from the product of other numbers. So for example, if I want to get the number 4, okay, I can rewrite it as 2 times 2 and I can get 4. So I want to focus on multiplication right now, so forget about addition. I I want to I want you guys to think about how to make up new numbers from the products of older, uh, smaller numbers. So, uh, for example, if I want to make up six, I can get um, two times three. If I want to make up uh, eight, I can get two times four is eight. Uh, and if I want to make up nine, I can get three times three is nine. If I want to get ten, I can get two times five is ten. Um, so all of these numbers that I can make up using the product of smaller numbers, okay, these numbers are called composite numbers. Now, if a number is a composite number, it is not a prime number. Okay, so it's not a prime number. So any of these numbers that you can use smaller numbers to multiply each other to get the bigger number, it's not a prime number. So for example, 14 is a composite number. Why? Because 2 times 7 is 14. So I've just used two smaller numbers multiplied together to make up 14 so it's not a prime number okay so using this principle okay let's try and understand the definition of prime numbers so this is the definition for prime numbers on the wikipedia website and basically it says a prime number is a natural number greater than one that has no positive divisors other than one in itself. So this sounds like a very complicated sentence, but let's break it down. So a prime number is a natural number. What a natural number is, basically is a number, a set of numbers used for counting. Right, natural numbers are used for counting objects, counting things, objects. So for example, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you use these numbers to count things. Uh, natural numbers do not include uh, decimal numbers such as uh, 0 0.25, so you're not allowed part of a number, and you're not allowed, um, let's say, uh, a fraction such as 3 over 4, right? These are not used for counting. So natural numbers are just pretty much whole numbers, okay, uh, that are bigger than zero. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, so a prime number is a natural number greater than one. So greater than one means it's got to be uh, two, three, four, five, and so on. That has no positive divisors. So what? Uh, divisor is is basically okay so for example if you have a number 10 10 is equal to 2 times 5 right 2 and 5 are divisors of 10 so if you probably have heard of the word factors okay factors um, so 2 and 5 are factors of 10 and factors and divisors are the same thing. Okay, factors 
and divisors just mean the same thing. So factors are divisors. So 2 and 5 are factors of 10 because 2 times 5 equals 10. So 2 is a factor of 10. 2 is a factor of 10 or you can say 2 is a divisor of 10 and 5 is also a factor of 10. Okay, because 5 times something will give you 10 and 2 times something will give you 10. So a prime number has no positive divisors other than 1 in itself. So what that means is, for example, if I think of the number 7, okay, can you think of two factors that multiply together to give you 7? Uh, yes, you can think of 1 times 7. Okay, is there anything else? No. So 7 is therefore a prime number. Because the only two numbers that can multiply together to give you 7 is 1 and 7, which is the same as the number itself. So that's what this definition is saying. Okay, a prime number is a natural number. So 7 is a natural number greater than 1. Yes, 7 is greater than 1. That has no positive divisors other than 1 in itself. So 7 times 1 is 7 and that's it. There's no other, no two other numbers that multiply together to give you 7. So 7 is a prime number. Okay, so the um, goal of this video is I'm going to give you a list of numbers and you tell me whether they're prime or composite. So here are all the numbers between 1 and 20 and I want you to either put them in the prime box or in the composite box. Okay, so 1 is a prime number. Actually, um, it's got to be a natural number greater than 1, so actually I'm just going to start at, uh, at 2, okay. Okay, so 2 is a prime number, okay. And then um, 3 is a prime number, uh, 4 is a composite number because 4 equals 2 times 2, 5 is a prime number, 6 is equal to 2 times 3, uh, 7 is a prime number. Actually, anything that's even, I'm just going to put it in composite. Okay, so 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20. All, right, all those numbers can go in here because they can all be divided by 2. 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, so all those numbers are gone. Okay, so 7, uh, 9 is also a composite number because 9 is uh, equal to 3 times 3. Oops, uh, 9 is equal to 3 times 3, so 9 is a composite. Uh, 11 prime, 13 prime, 15 is a composite because 15 is 3 times 5. Uh, 17 is prime and 19 is prime. Okay. Okay, I hope this video explains a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.